Hey, it's Joshua Vergara. What's going on, everybody? I'm actually here at the Game Developer Conference 2023, finally back in person. This is my first ever GDC, and I'm really excited to be here, but I am also here courtesy of Enreal. Now, if you haven't already seen, AR glasses are a category that is really booming right now. Enreal, with their Enreal Air, are kind of at the forefront of it. And I've actually already done a video on the Enreal Air, but ever since that video came out, there have been a bunch of improvements and a bunch of extra features that have been added in. And we're gonna talk about some of them in this particular video. After all, here at the booth, we have a lot of different demos of the Enreal Air being used on things like a PS5, a MacBook Pro. And now they have Nebula, their AR app, available for Windows as well. That's the big announcement for GDC 2023. We're going to go ahead and take a look at some of it, and I'll give you some of my thoughts here at the booth as I give you a tour of Enreal's booth at GDC. A quick reminder that if you haven't seen my video on the Enreal Air yet, you can do so after watching this booth tour via the links that are appearing above and below. Now, that review actually came out some months ago, and since then, there have been plenty of new features that have been added in, which is one of the main stories of the Enreal Air and their overall platform, which is continuous growing. And that's exactly what we saw at GDC 2023 as they were announcing Nebula for Windows coming soon. And throughout this interview, I'm going to have PJ, one of the co-founders of Enreal, continue to give some of the philosophies behind the product and of course the company Enreal. In the last 30-40 years, we've been doing processing power and information connectivity on a 2D screen. So I feel like how information is displayed is the third pillar. And once you bring that element into this equation, you have the full space. Right. Right, processing power, connectivity, and how information is to be displayed. Mm -hmm. Now, we've done a really good job digitizing the world and the com basically compressing everything into a 2D screen. Right. Now, I feel like it's time to take it out of it. Right. And throw it back out into the real life, you know, into the, the real world. All right, connected to an Alienware PC, we're going to check out not just gaming on a PC, but also yeah. Nebula for Windows. The AR experience, I'll let you do a whole lot of stuff using the Unreal Air. The demo for specifically Nebula for Windows was based upon playing Forza Horizon 5, the main takeaway being that you have the entire effective screen display size via the Enreal Air, and then you could use the field of view in order to actually look around that humongous display. I might be here all day. <laughs> Survive. Nebula for Windows is still on its way, but for an even better look at what the Enreal Air could add to the computing experience, you gotta look at Nebula for Mac. The beta is available now, you can try it out for yourself, and effectively what Nebula does in the software on the Mac is provide you with multiple screens uh, that might be virtualized, but as you are looking around in your field of view, they act just like three whole monitors that you can put into whatever configuration that you need. So just by having a MacBook Pro and the glasses, you could sit down and have effectively three whole monitors for all of your productivity or really anything else. And as PJ explains during our interview, this is a great way of adding functionality to an existing platform via software. Not by having to actually have the hardware needed, you can actually get the same experience without having to do too much more. So apparently people need different form factors right. for different purposes. And so we started to think, why not, since now within Nebula, everything is software, not hardware, right? You, I can't give you three different physical monitors no. <laughs> of different shapes and sizes, right? Sure. And have you carry them, <laughs> it, it doesn't make sense. But if it's software, then I can give you as many as I can afford from a technology standpoint. PlayStation fan. Oh, oh, we're playing God of War, hell yeah. Who made the camera controls inverted? That's just not the way to go. You can totally see that Jaime and I are thoroughly enjoying our specific experiences with the Enreal Air. In my case, playing God of War on a PS4, and in his case, playing Forza Horizon 5 via Nebula for Windows on that PC. Honestly, glasses like these are just super fun, and the Enreal Air are adding a lot of really great features onto them with like the Nebula app for Android, for Mac, for Windows now, as you saw a little bit earlier. But really, for most people, apparently Enreal have found that they are just pairing the Enreal Air with the Steam Deck. That makes perfect sense. Uh, you're able to just play a lot of stuff on the go and not have to rely on the display of the Steam Deck or maybe the Nintendo Switch. And you can get a 130-inch display. 
yeah. easily just by putting glasses on and connecting them to the console. That's really awesome. I just played God of War for a little while, but I have definitely used the Unreal Air with my Steam Deck to play games like Cyberpunk and Tiny Tina's Wonderland. So of course, gaming is a big thing, and that's why Unreal is here for GDC, so that they can show off the Unreal Air in one of the main situations that they have found people are using them in. Gaming, Steam Deck, consoles. It makes a lot of sense. I've always thought that this is going to be a huge ecosystem, right, no matter what. So being able to really grow on top of your uh, existing install base, uh, you know, shipping new features through software, that's just a very, very important uh, yeah, that's, you know, that's... product strategy. Yeah. So these are the Enreal Light. This is the other, oh, we got audio coming in. The Enreal Light are actually higher spec than the Enreal Air with more degrees of freedom. I think it's six degrees of freedom as opposed to three. Uh, so I'm actually going to be walking around a little bit talking to this little lion, I think it is, uh, that is part of this game called, what's the name of the game again? In Wonder. In Wonder. That's the name of the game. It's In Wonder. AR games like this, this is what AR mixed reality is supposed to be able to bring. Different types of freedom uh, in order to not only have a second screen for consoles and for laptops and whatnot, but to also have more experiences that you are able to interact with in an even better way. A little bit like VR, but in glasses like these that allow you to mix your realities together. The phone is the controller in this case. Candace, Candace, got that candle. That candle, that candle. Might be one more. Oh. You know, I think every consumer product company ought to keep in mind your job is not to ship technologies. Your job is to ship experience. So nice, I had to visit twice. So AR glasses like these have a very strong presence here at GDC 2023, and I think for good reason. I mean, you probably saw the clip from the interview that I did yesterday at my first visit to this booth that PJ himself, one of the co-founders of Enreal, was talking about how it's not just about the information or the entertainment that we might be getting, it's how it's being displayed and expressed through the technology that we're using. And if we're going to change up the way that we're actually getting our information, getting our entertainment through glasses like these, I think it's a great step in a good direction. Uh, that way we can have all of our games, all of our content, being a little bit more personal, being a little bit more private, and honestly, way more immersive and very fun. And in particular, Enreal is doing a really great job making sure that their glasses start off as a great alternative to having like a portable monitor to provide a great second screen experience. But now all of the AR capabilities are just getting further bolstered via Nebula for Windows, Nebula for Mac, Nebula for Android, and the AR games that are, that are going to be added into that whole ecosystem. And you know what? I've been spending a lot of time here at the booth and I've been listening into some of the reactions that people were having when they check out the glasses via installations like this. Pretty much everybody that comes to this booth walks away with a very positive reaction, saying, wow, that's a very clear display. That's a really fun experience. And obviously because the glasses are very lightweight and easy to travel with, that makes this a great alternative to any other of the solutions that you might travel with or even use in your home. Uh, it's a portable home theater, pretty much, if you use it with the right device and a portable monitor for all of the game consoles, which of course at a gaming convention makes all the difference. So if you haven't already checked out my video on the Enreal Air that I did a little while back, make sure you check it out in the link in the description below and in the pinned comment. And I also have links to all of what Enreal is offering in those links as well. So make sure you check those out so you can check out some AR glasses for yourself, especially the ones from Enreal in the Air and the Enreal Light. Uh, with all that said though, thank you so much to Enreal for having me here at GDC 2023. It was my first time at this conference and I had a blast thanks to them. So with all that said, I'm going to call it on this one. Thank you so much for watching my video on the Enreal Air and Light here at the booth at GDC 2023. Please take care of yourselves and each other and enjoy your tea everybody.